Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, we're going to be investigating if the PlayStation 4 can play DVDs and if it can play Blu-rays. And right here, I have a combination pack of the Wolf's DVD and Blu-ray. We're going to go ahead and try these out in our PlayStation 4 and see if it works. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. So I have the Wolf's DVD right here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the case and put it in the PlayStation 4 right away and see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in just like I would a game. And the last time I actually bought a DVD probably was 2010. So my DVD is now in my PlayStation 4. Let's go over to my screen here. And I have to use a camera because it won't allow me to capture it with my capture card. And as you can see, the DVD is indeed popping up. Let's go ahead and select it and see if it will start the DVD. Now I actually haven't watched this DVD yet, so it cannot start the application. I have to turn off HDCP. So if you do have HDCP on, go down to System, and then go over to Enable HDCP, and make sure that's enabled. Now let's go back to my screen here and start my DVD. And it seems like the PlayStation is actually playing this DVD. And I am able to move around the different menus like English and stuff on this Wolf's DVD. And if I press the triangle button, the screen will pop up. Showing me how long the DVD is actually, or how much is left in the playtime. And if I press the touchpad, this actually pops up with the title. And it seems like uh, if I use the D-pad over, it will actually speed it up. Or if I go to the D-pad to the left, it will actually rewind it. X will play at the DVD or pause it. Then if I hit the options button, this menu pops up. Gives me top menu. I'll have the ability to turn on subtitles. I can go to a different language, closed captionings, control panels, uh, the button guide, settings. And under settings, I have a bunch of different settings like noise reduction, Display mode if I want to zoom in, dynamic range control, audio format, video playback settings. And here is a quick look at the button guide for the DVDs. And this is the overall control panel. So if you can't find the right button on your controller, you can just hit the control panel and you can actually go through all the different options on here. So it looks like a DVD does indeed work on the PlayStation 4. Let's go ahead and eject this DVD and try out a Blu-ray. So my DVD is now ejected. Let's go ahead and put it back in the case and grab this Blu-ray and put it in our PlayStation 4. So it's going in. Looks like it's working there so far. Let's go over to my screen here. And the Blu-ray has just popped up and it actually says Blu-ray disc. Let's go ahead and press the X button on our controller. And it looks like it's starting up just like the DVD did. All right, when I hit the options button, I do have the same options. And this actually looks a lot better quality than the DVD so far. That's interesting, the difference in just the DVD menu versus the DVD and the Blu-ray. They're completely different. This looks so much better. So I do have the same options on here for my controls and settings. Let's go ahead and just play it real quick and just see if it actually plays it. Okay, I can go ahead and fast forward it, and it does indeed look like it's able to play it. So the question is answered. Can the PlayStation 4 play DVDs and Blu-rays? Yes, it can. Go ahead and start watching your favorite movies on your PlayStation 4. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.